Welcome to my Vogue video. Okay, this is my pre-shoot glow skincare. I normally do this kind of like a prep the day before, just or like the night before. So my skin is. So I feel like I've now got my skincare down to T purely for the fact because there's so much product going on your skin like day to day, different products as well. Normally that is a really big trigger for my easily triggered skin. So my skin's very, just to give you like an idea, my skin's very dry here. It can get quite oily in my T-zone here. I get a lot of hormonal breakouts. I also am like very susceptible to like rashes. <laughs> But as in like, I get dermatitis very easily around my nose, on my neck. So I need products that are gonna work. So enough of that intro. Let's get on with the video. I feel like I've tried to set this up in a good way, but I don't know if it's really working. Anyway, I have makeup on, like a little bit on from a meeting I had today. I've been out of the house. I use this cleansing balm by Almers. I like this yellow one. They do, I think they do like a pro collagen one, but this is, I think this is the original one and it just works for my skin for no problems. And it's really, really nice. Like, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. So, so basically we're gonna double cleanse and then I'm gonna get into the pre. My flannel, make sure it's a new flannel that you've not used before. I feel like this is just get just buy loads of flannels. New one every day, especially if you're wearing makeup every day. I had acne as well. That really helps. It is so good. I really like it as a double cleanse, like a duo. My skin is completely clean before I put all my products on to make myself glow. Anyway, I love the moisturizers. It's just very easy, very simple, especially for sensitive skin. Anyway, I'm gonna put an eye mask on just whilst I do the rest of my skincare. Also I do an eye mask the day of the shoot. I really like Dr. Dan's. These Elmer's ones are really, really good. Am I gonna go for one one skin? I never know which way my patches go. Do they go this way or the other way? Like, but then I also look at that and I feel like, oh wait, I'm really stupid. Because that covers most of your eye. I think it's that way. Otherwise you're not getting your bang for your buck. Someone tell me in the comments which way they do. Because I'm not too sure about this. Anyway, whilst my eye mask doing this, I'm gonna put this up on my face because I couldn't really feel it getting dry. Anyway, this is Oscar Floral Rose Water. I take this if I'm going away or on holiday because it's 100 milliliters, that's why I take it. I literally just put it in my hands. I just prefer, I just prefer using my hands. I really like rose water. It just tightens your pores and it's a really nice face. Also, take everything down your neck. I've only just started doing that and I was like, am I going to have a really wrinkly neck and decolletage when I'm older? Hopefully not. Okay, my next product. I am always, and I think everyone is quite just sceptical of celebrity brands. I feel like when any celebrity makes a brand, there's always a little bit of something in the back of your mind. Like, is it actually any good or does it just have like nice packaging? I also just like rub this in with my hands and just tap it. But I always like to try a product and honestly like any of these products. I love the road. That road milk is by far my favourite out of the whole road thing. Um, and I use it and it's like integrated in my um, total skincare now really like it, I would definitely say it's worth the hype. It works for my skin. I haven't spoken to any friends who it's not worked for their skin. Um, anyway, 
Probably it's too many products. This is just when I have a really big shoot and I know there's gonna be lots of looks, loads of um, stuff on my skin. I do the Paula's, Paula's? Paula's Choice Milky Toner. It's my normal skincare. I'll either use this or the road depending what my skin needs at the time. This the road I love using in the day because it is such a good makeup base um, and I do love using this one at night. I'm not rubbing anything in either, I'm just like dabbing, dabbing. Okay, the next product is a TikTok product, Snail Mutant. I love it. I feel like my sister, Tilly, if you're watching this, she had an alternative to this as well. So apparently Snail, oh, I can't remember what she was saying, but it's really interesting. There's another kind of thing that is like Snail Mutant. This from that woman who has like the most unreal skin on TikTok. I can't remember what her name is, but she puts like 10 different products and retinols on, which I know like it does not work for my skin. Again, I'm just da 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 da. I feel like this really locks the product in and I just want to dab, like I'm really layering this on, like my skin is very saturated with product and it's just gonna slowly soak that in get into my skin before I go to bed so my skin is da -ding. I'm gonna take my Avene, this is the rich cream, they brought it back I swear I remember I've been using this for over, I'm gonna say over seven years, oh, over six years when I found this when I was going through the acne medication my skin was just, just hated, hated the world, hated me Anyway, I like to put it on with a little brush, especially when I'm doing this routine layering. The whole point is just to get my skin really saturated and like set it up for the best it can be. Anyway, so I just paint it on and it sort of just feels like when you would have a facial. So I feel like I'm treating myself when I do it. Really leaving it thick. I'm rubbing, I'm not making any redness. I would say before any event, any photo shoot, any party, anything like that, do not use any retinols. If you've got active spots, I would avoid using any spot cream. Use this spot cream, which is really good. You need the tiniest amount because it literally burns your fucking skin off, but it's so good. Worst thing I would say, or what I've learned, is that obviously when your skin is dry and then you put makeup on, you're just gonna have crusty spots and like that is me. <laughs> That's me if I don't do this whole thing, like my everything sticks to it and makes me look spotty dryness. Just is not cute, especially for events. Like you would prefer to be able to get like makeup artists or yourself can get rid of the redness very easily. The bump is probably not gonna go in time, so there's no point just having like a dry bump, if that makes sense. Or well, that's just my preference anyway. Okay, so I've really just let that dry in. I also use, actually just run out, Ordinary, Ding. I'll put it there. I thought this was it, plant squirming. I love that stuff. That is like, honestly, this is annoying that I'm doing this video because that is like one of my trusted products over that one, just because it really makes a big difference. I do this, I'll put like a full pipette in. You're only supposed to use a couple of I put a full pipette and, and you will be glowing when you wake up. I'm still gonna be glowing. I would just be a bit more glowy if I had that. Anyway, I'm taking these off. I get a little dry. I have recently been using this and I really am liking it. I can't say it's in my like ride or dies because I've not been using it long enough, but for the past two weeks, I really enjoy it. Pro Collagen Vitality Eye Mask by Elmer's. Replenishing eye cream. I like eye creams when they are quite thick and they can just sit on top of the eye. Okay, and one of the last steps, which again, don't do this every day. I almost don't want to show this cream because it is as good as people 
fixated. It has like stem cells in it. Like this. I use the rich cream. You can tell how long <laughs> that I've had this specific bottle because the cream, the words are out and literally like on my last legs. I use it very sparingly just because it is a very expensive cream. So I only use it for special occasions. Ordinary do one very similar consistency, I would say. I did probably not the same um, ingredients because I'm pretty sure the Augustus Banner one's like stem cell science. Anyway, I'm just like dabbing this on because I just feel like it gives me an extra, just an extra little bit. I prefer to use my brush when all my skincare is on. I know some people say that breaks you out, but I think that's only when you use something like heavy. I don't find it breaks me out, but if it does, use it before, then double cleanse, and then get, put your skincare on. But I just like all the product just going in. And I think it's called fascia. Fascia. I know definitely when you're doing lymphatic drainage on your body, you're getting into like your fascia, fascia layer of skin. I don't know. And you can kind of see. I do my cheeks quite vigorously just because it feels good. And then lastly, do a little bit of Levine Thermal. I just, sorry, side note, I just watched um, Triangle of Sadness, weird, weird film, but they all were like, I wonder if you can actually, you no, know, that probably is, don't do it, don't do that. Um, just after the gosh, I just to cool it down a bit. I also take a smaller one of these to the shoot because if I'm suddenly getting a little bit red or a little bit rashy, that's pretty much all I do. Thanks for staying, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial um, and picked up some products that you might not have used before. You probably have. I'm not using anything like life changing, but these are my these are my constants in my life. Hope you have a good day. There's building work going on outside. Anyway.